I was a mechanical engineer initially, and then I did biomedical engineering. So the way that the nervous system made sense appealed to my engineering way of, of looking at things. There's some good variety in neurosurgery because you're treating the brain, the spine, and the peripheral nerves. I like the fact that you were taking care of patients that were undergoing challenging things, you know, diseases of the nervous system that really affect who they are, how they move, their quality of life. Um, and so I, it was very rewarding in that you're there for people that are really going through something difficult and you can help shepherd them through that. I think some things in neurosurgery are very analytical. Um, we're looking at imaging studies, um, there's a lot of technology, um, but a, a big component of it does come down to the individual patient and, and what they're looking for. More often than not, it's, a, it's more nuanced or complex, and you have some people that just say, well, you're the doctor, doc, just tell me what I need to do and I'll do it. And we do shepherd people through that, but in general, it's a joint decision that we make. And for some conditions in neurosurgery, you really want to see people multiple times, let things sink in, let them ask questions, let them get to know you. I love people doing well, right? And it's, you know, people that don't end up needing surgery but get better or people that have a surgery and get through a tough time and get back to their life. I, I That's, I think, the most rewarding aspect of what we do is is seeing people improve, trying to do your best to get the best possible for the patient. And I find that to be very rewarding.